Ano nga ba ang sel? Kaya nyo bang sagutan ang nasa larawan? Napag-aralan nyo na yan kung nung kayo ay nasa grade 7. O mga mag-aaral, tenat pasukin natin ang mundo ng sel. Ito ay ang cell cycle. Ang cell cycle ay mga pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga pangyayari sa isang eukaryotic cell. At ito ay may kakayahang mag-replicate. Katulad ng nasa larawan. Nahahati ang cell cycle sa dalawang bahagi. Una ay ang interface at ang pangalawa ay ang kanyang metabolic functions. Halikat i-describe natin ang interface. Diyan tayo sa orange arrow magi start Okay, let's go! G1, S, at ang G2. During mitosis, the cell replicating itself. During this process, our hair, our skin, our blood cells, and our internal organs are formed. Balikan natin ang interface. Sa G1, growth preparation for DNA synthesis. Sa S, DNA replicate. And G2, preparation for mitosis growth. Quiz time! Okay, fill in the blanks. Okay, let's check your answer. Number one, what is meant by the cell cycle or cell division cycle? It is a series of events that may take place in eukaryotic cell the moment it replicates. Two, what types of cell? Eukaryotes. For three and four, it is interface and mitotic phase. Number five, normal metabolic function. Number six, during mitosis, the cell replicate itself and develop into mature organisms. And number eight, the hair, the skin, the blood cells, and more other internal organs are formed. Note, the interface is the absence of cell division. The cell obtain nutrients and duplicate chromatids. This is found on the nucleus of the cell. Let's talk about molecule DNA. Cell is the basic unit of life. There are three main parts of a cell. Inside nucleus is the chromosomes. We also have the cell membrane and cytoplasm. The human skin cells, which divide about once a day, spend roughly 22 hours in the interface. Ganun katagal. Quiz time! The cell obtain nutrients and duplicate or copy their chromatids or genetic materials during interface. We found the chromatids inside the nucleus of the cell. Chromatids are made of molecules called DNA. Let's check what you have learned. Number 9, the absence of cell division. 10, nutrients and chromatids. 11, the nucleus of the cell. And number 12, of course, the DNA. In number 12, we have four answers. They are the chromatids, centromere, short arms and long arms most eukaryotic cells spend most of their time in interface we always consider the eukaryotic cells because it has a nucleus they have both the cell membrane cytoplasm and ribosomes about 90 percent of the cells are in interface Nerve cells can stay in the interface for a decades. Quiz time again! Let's check what you have learned. Number 13 is interface. 
14 human skin cells divide once a day. 15 22 hours siya sa interface. 16 what type of cells may spend decades in the interface instead of dividing? That is the nerve cell. Three stages of interface is G1, S, and G2. 18. In G1, the cell creates organelles and begins metabolism. 19. DNA synthesis, the chromosomes of the cell, and copied. In the G1 phase, cells are alive and metabolically active but do not divide. Many cells in human body, including those in the heart, muscles, the eyes, and the brain are in the go phase. If these cells are damaged, they cannot be replaced. Bago mag-interface, cytokinesis muna, wherein a single cell is divided into two identical daughter. Then it follows by G1 wherein cell is growing. In S phase, new organelles are being synthesized or made. So the cell requires both structural proteins and enzymes resulting in a great amount of protein synthesized. Then, it follows G2 and ready to duplicate. The S phase is in between G1 and G2, wherein DNA synthesizes. At the beginning of the S stage, each chromosome is composed of one coiled DNA double helix molecules. We call that as chromatid. It has two identical DNA. We call that as sister chromatids. During the S phase, the chromosomes is also duplicated. Quiz time! The G2 phase continues growth of the cell and prepares the cell for mitosis. We call this as M phase by producing all the enzymes that the cell will need in order to divide. Let's take a look at the picture. G2 phase is the third and final, usually the shortest subphase during the interface within the cell cycle, which the cell undergoes a period of rapid growth to prepare mitosis. Although chromosomes have been replicated, they cannot yet be distinguished individually because they are still in the form of loosely packed chromatin fiber. Pagkatapos ng G2, ready na ang cell para mag-divide. It follows a successful completion of DNA synthesis and chromosomal replication during the S phase. It occurs during a period of often 4 to 5 hours. Quiz time!
mitosis or karyokinesis. This is a nuclear division. Mitosis is the process in which a eukaryotic cell separates its already duplicated chromosomes. Copy during the S phase. There are two sets of chromosomes, so they will be two identical nuclei. It is generally followed by cytokinesis, which divides the cytoplasm and the cell membrane. Abangan nyo po ang part 2 para sa mitosis. Thanks for watching. Sana may natutunan ka sa video mo.